Hi guys, 14th Prime here, back with another video review. And today we'll be looking at the Transformers Generation 1 Hot Rod. So here he is in his car mode, and to start off, I really do like this figure. If you saw my top 5 favorite G1 figures, this was, I think this guy was on it. Pretty sure it was. Because he's freaking awesome. Anyway, so now let's, let's do this reveal after I've said how awesome he is. He does roll. Like cars should roll. He does have rubber, mine does have rubber tires, and you know, on the bottom, it's G1, visible head syndrome. It's right there, and visible waist. Yeah, and my need stickers, even though the camera makes everything look better. This looks amazing. Like new. Look at this. It looks like new. It's all messy and stuff in real life. And just for a quick little comparison, here he is with a little bumblebee. Keychain reissue. And you know, this is like way out of scale in real life, so let's, let's drive him off. Oops, sorry. Hit the camera a little bit. And here he is with G1 Ultra Magnus. This, this is my terrible cab. This is why it looks kind of bad. And then, you know, camera makes everything look better, so it probably looks amazing. And you can't really drive him on the back of this. Because, come on. The car, these, be, these bits get in the way. But you can, however, just take him and slide him right there. You know, act like he drove on there. And you know you can put them on the top too. Up there. So yeah, he does have two guns, one pistol and one Rodimus-looking gun. You can tab either one in to the engine. There we go. Plug that one in or that one. Can't do both. So now that's all done with, let's get down to transformation. So first, what you want to do is you want to pull out these legs, flip up the feet, and I do have the metal foot version. Let's see if I can raise this up a little bit. You want to pull out these arms, rotate, rotate, flip the waist around, you want to come back here. Pull this out, rotate it so it's like that, and then come around. Let me rephrase that. You wanna I think you wanna rotate it the other way. Ah, give me that. Come on, don't be doing this to me. Yeah, you wanna rotate it this way so that it tabs in, and then you wanna tab this into the waist piece like so and then finally rotate this around and here is Hot Rod in his robot mode and I do like this it's actually the arms just the arms are very articulate but before we do that let's do some comparisons first we will do little G1 Bumblebee who just likes falling he really does fall down on myself and you know, he's a lot taller than Bumblebee. As you know, Bumblebee is a little mini-bot. Also, here is the Ultra Magnus cab, which I guess is buried to Optimus Prime. This is my good cab. I'm a bad cab with the trailer, my good cab. Without the trailer, so it's kind of like Prime whenever he had that metal sprayed on him. And last comparison, but certainly not least, reveal the shield hot rod. Which, this hot rod is bigger. And you can take his two weapons, plug them into the hands, like so. His articulation, he has elbow movement, in and out, and even a wrist, let me move this, even a little bit of a wrist swivel. Like I said, I need stickers for mine, because pff, the gun's dropping out. Because my stickers are messed up, even though on camera they look amazing. I wish they looked that good in real life. Oh, for and let's get a close up on the face. 
to look now you can see some of the messed up stuff in your face camera if you know if cameras have faces so anyway I think that's about all I have to say so be sure to check out my channel for more video reviews and please don't forget to subscribe also check out the rejects link in the description below and this is the 14th Prime signing out